Hey there, welcome back to my channel, Lizzie with Shannon. I just, I actually have a video that I need to edit. It's like the last fit day challenge from Bikini Body Mommy, but I just don't feel like editing, so I'm gonna do a quick video update. So I think this week, and I've been wondering about it for a while, I'm going to stop doing keto. I'm, I'm not saying keto's bad. It, I just, I want carbs and I want healthy carbs, but do I want to be fully trim healthy mama? Not really. So I've decided I'm just going to calorie count with the iTrack Bites app. I'm going to mostly choose whole foods, probably mostly do trim healthy mama things. I think my thing is when I was losing weight, when I was doing smart points was the fact that I could lose weight doing small crossovers, eating things that were not on plan on Trim Healthy Mama, and I lost weight. I lost weight. And I don't see why I can't do that. Why can't I have a treat that might have sugar in or be bad? So basically, I'm just, I'm not going to intuitively eat because intuitively eating means I want to eat half my kitchen at night sometimes. No, I really just want to honor parts of my hunger but do it smartly do it in a smart fashion i.e counting calories tracking what i'm eating making better choices not like and that might be the half my problem is the fact that going straight to trim healthy mama means i have to like you know i have to say no to a lot of things whereas when i just started with smaller portions of things like that it meant that I could have that little naughty thing and everything's fine. It's just a smaller portion of that naughty thing. Whereas with Trauma Healthy Mama, it's an automatic no. And that might be setting my binging off. So I'm trying that this week. I didn't go on the scale today, but we'll see how that works out. Yeah, my yard is a sheet of ice. I want to do a cute hoop video, but I cannot move anything that the kids have thrown around the yard so there's like no good space where I put my camera to hoop at because everything underneath the snow is a sheet of ice. There are people in Kentucky that still have no power due to infrastructure and ice storms. My car cannot move because there's four inches of ice and like right in front of it. So we, we, we don't get three big snows in a row within a week. We usually just get one a month, if that, one big one, some small ones, and mostly we deal in Eastern Kentucky, usually gets a little bit more, but it's not this bad. This was two ice storms in like within five days of each other, and then snow on top of that. Like I can't, I can't, none of that will move. None of that will move. It just stays there. I kicked it. I kicked it on my force. Not moving. There's toys underneath that snow over there. Can't move. You can't even pull these toys out. But it's probably gonna melt this weekend. So I wanted to let the kid come play because I'm not gonna get dressed to bring her out here. It's a whole lot of work. And I was already dressed because we were gonna walk to the school and um, uh, they canceled on us, so I'm like, well, I'm half dressed anyways, and I'm prepared to go out in the snow, so here I am. And here I am taping this video. I'm probably not even going to edit most of it, because so far I haven't screwed up. <laughs> so anyways, uh, that's what I've been doing this week. Uh, I still haven't lost any weight. I've actually gained weight since uh, my cycle started over again, because I did have some... Th three days off plan eating. There was a couple days I did not track. I don't really believe I screwed up that much. But I'm also wondering if it's like where I'm getting off of keto, where it's I'm eating carbs again. And uh, is my body adjusting to that? So hopefully it will get better. I did start adding the Bikini Body Mommy bonus moves. And I'm not sure about that. I feel like I'm failing this journey completely. Although I feel like I'm doing better, I'm still failing, which sucks. Like, I don't need to be snatched already, y'all. But I'm not. So here I am. <sighs> the thing is, I feel like I should should definitely still be 320. And the thing is, I, I stopped doing all the extra exercising I was doing. So I'm like, is that because I didn't do that? 
I don't know. So, and I really desperately need a haircut. Ugh, because it's all flat. But it's all like hot weather, so I don't know. I don't know. I feel like parts of my body that loses weight faster is slimming out a bit. But maybe it was the shirt I was wearing because I was wearing a men's uh, sleeveless shirt. And, you know, they're, they have lines, so it kind of made me probably look a little better with my hourglass. But, like, when I start losing weight, I'll be, like, hourglassy from the front. But then the sides, belly. It's belly. Just, I'm just wearing a hoodie today. <laughs> hoodie and some things. I was going to wear jeans while we walked, so I'd have two layers. But I was going to wear hers, which means no coat. And I don't want to wear my coat. So... I'm pretty sure I have a kid out inside being bad. I'm not pretty sure he's watching TV. But the other two are having fun in the snow. So that's what we're doing this morning. I definitely need to probably at least walk two miles today. And then I need to do bikini body, mommy, lower body, and ring fit. So that is the goal today. Probably need to do some laundry or put it away. That's my problem. Like a mountain this high sometimes. That's my goal today. I don't know if I'm going to get it. But this is this is what the backyard looks like right now. <sighs> I guess I just want to lose weight. And I keep telling one of my accountability partners, I'm like, I just want to lose weight. I want to lose measurements, but I just I just feel like I'm just staying in one spot. So the fit test is next week. I don't think I'm going to have any changes in my measurements because I don't feel like I've been eating un good enough to have good changes like that. Although I did try a new recipe today. I did a rocket fuel latte with chia seeds. No, not chia seeds. Hemp seeds in it. Hemp hearts. And uh, I have a thing with food, like dots in my food or foreign particles. So I'm like, oh my God, I don't know if this is going to work out. I don't know if this is going to work out. I'm like, I'm just going to have to close my eyes and drink this. I'm going to have to close my eyes and drink this. I don't, I don't like it. I don't, I don't want to see dots because I'm just going to dump, dump my coffee away. Because I was like, I'll just drink some coffee that's going to fuel me on a one mile walk and I'm going to. Well, it might, it, it's, is it half a mile? It's a fourth of a mile, but I was like, if I walk it four times, it's a mile. I don't remember. I At one point, I know, well, that's a mile, so I'd have to check it again. But, uh, I know my fingers are about to get cold out here. I'm sure the babies might, she's actually playing the snow. I have been able to hula hoop in this, but there's no good areas to tape a hula hoop because there's just toys everywhere. It's just been... We've had such an incredibly wet winter. It's just been rain, mud, rain, mud, rain, mud. There's actually a natural spring under here. So water likes to sit here a lot with some other issues. But water likes to sit here. We have this gully here because there was water, a lot of water draining here. But so it's just mud back here and uh, it's just been wet, wet and muddy and now it's very snowy and icy. So we haven't been able to come out here often. So I don't go out here. I just let them come out here and get covered in, but he's not wearing snow boots. Okay. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great one. Tell me how has your week been? How has your month been? I'll see you next time. Bye.